cities highlighted in red, and for the obvious reasons, we have Baltimore, Philadelphia, New York, and Washington, D.C. Here we live at the resort area, and where do all our company comes from, these areas? So it's put a, uh, a huge uh, hardship on a lot of the hotel owners around here. Uh, right now, across the country, well, let me give you some more statistics with this. So college dorm rooms are also up, nursing homes, office buildings, schools, daycares, hospitals, uh, movie theaters. Right now, there is nowhere in this entire country in a public place that you can go to that you don't have the possibility of contracting bed bugs. Uh, bed bugs want to hide and wait. They, they get on to your personal belongings, like let's say you're having dinner at your favorite restaurant, and there's a bed bug in that chair that the client left prior, that will then go onto your clothing and you will take that home. Uh, it only takes one bed bug in six months. You would go from one to uh, over 12,000 in a six month period if it went undetected. So the national average is one in 10 houses. So right now one in 10 houses across the country have bed bugs. So you can bet that some of your neighbors <coughs> are experiencing this. The problem with that is that, uh, as you can see, everything here that has the red dot, this is where the majority of the infestations are. You see our coast over here. We are not at one in 10, we are at one in six. It's expected to climb to one in three homes that will experience this. Everybody in this room will have some interaction of some kind of bed bugs. It's not a problem that's going away, it's here to stay, and it's something that, uh, is probably going to get much worse before it gets better, mainly because a lot of people don't know how to handle them. Uh, nobody really wants to learn or know about bed bugs until they actually have a problem, and by then it's too late. I have clients that call me that have already spent uh, well over fifty thousand dollars, and they still have bed bugs. Then they come to me, you know, and and want me to fix the problem for them. I've gone into homes where they have removed everything, carpet, walls. The house is down the studs and they're still experiencing bed bugs. Definitely something you want to leave to a professional to do. So what kills bed bugs? Chemical is, a, is an option for bed bugs. However, 46% of all bed bug infestations are resistant to the chemical. Uh, chemical treatments are, uh, they take a long time and in the industry they're known as the spray and pray. What that means is that they spray for the, the bugs and they pray they got everything that they needed to spray. Uh, bed bugs are very cryptic. They live inside cracks and crevices. <coughs> a lot of times you cannot get the chemicals into those areas. So the study's been done by Dr. Susan Jones out of the University of Ohio uh, about those swabbers because we all can go into Lowe's and it says kills bed bugs. It's the worst thing you can possibly do for. Uh, as she has stated here, that uh, they're virtually useless in fighting bed bugs and they should not even be labeled for the use of bed bugs. Alaska is the first state that has um, uh, outlawed it on the label. You are not allowed to advertise on any of those farmers that they will eliminate bed bugs because they won't. So if I would give you any advice of treatment of something not to do, it would absolutely be do not settle on the farmer. remediation company, uh, we use heat. Heat is a form of fumigation without the chemical. What that means is if you were going to fumigate this out at this, this unit here, um, the gas would actually go into the cracks and crevices and it would kill everything in there. Heat, when done properly, will also penetrate itself into those cracks and crevices which will kill um, the bugs. So when we heat this let's say we were heating this room, we would actually have a heater outside and we would pump hot air into here and we would circulate it with these high temperature fans and we would have it to absorb inside uh, into all the cracks and crevices. It also kills all life stages. I kept all that part out of it. The, uh, there's five life stages to a, a bed bug. It starts with an egg and as an adult. Every time it has to grow into uh, its next life stage, it must take a meal. Bed bugs feed only on blood. That's it. Uh, I get it a lot where they say, will they feed on the pets? Yes, they will, if 
the infestation is so severe that um, they just have to, at that point, branch out. Have I seen that? Absolutely. Do you have to worry about the cat who's getting up on the bed and him bringing bed bugs in there? No. You are much more likely to have brought the bugs into your bed than the cat or the dog. Message from the CDC. <coughs> the best way to prevent uh, bed bug infestations is with regular inspections. Early detection is always the key. Visual inspections, which is still something I recommend that everybody learns how to do uh, visually to check their own homes. Nonetheless, they are only 36% accurate. The use of canines is actually 97% accurate. So canine, pl canine plays a, a key role in, uh, in, in bed bugs because the earlier you catch it, the easier it is for you to treat your treatment costs and everything else will be much lower. Canines detect on very low levels of infestation. You don't need a canine to walk in. If I can walk in and go, oh, well, there it is. You need a canine to detect uh, the most minor of infestations. Uh, it's a lot quicker, less invasive. Um, so they have dogs that are out there that they specifically train for that. Here's some working dogs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. These are not canine dogs, but nonetheless, they look like they're having a good time. The canine detection dogs are actually uh, trained by the same people that do the military or police dogs. Same technique, everything is scent trained. You can train a dog just like this one here, which whatever he's sniffing for are probably drugs or bombs or something. Uh, it's the same sort of scenario. You train them with uh, a scent. Eagles are actually the dog of choice for uh, bed bugs. One of the reasons is we started out with the pit bull, which she was fantastic. She was absolutely wonderful. They have a bit of more aggressive alert style. So when I go into a very lovely home with leather furniture and Penny wants to tell me about the bug that she just found in the couch, she wants to dig and get the, cat, the bug out, which clients tend to want to frown on when my dog is digging onto the leather couch. So we switched over to beagles that are have a much more passive uh, alert style. That is actually a little more accurate as to what a beagle looks like when he is alerting. There's a little sniffing it out. There they are. See, so you can see that the, the dog there is detecting that there's bed bugs in the outlet. That's because that's again, that's where bed bugs would actually go into hide. So things to remember. Early detection is always the key. Uh, I'm getting more and more uh, real estate people who are calling and having homes inspected prior to, just like they are doing the uh, termite inspections, I'm having more and more call to have the house certified. Uh, I do a lot of uh, certification for apartments where when the people check out, I go in and, or when they move out rather, I go in and I certify that so when the new tenants move in, we already know if that place has had bed bugs or not. Again, the canines can detect very low levels of infestation. 97% accurate for canines. Humans are only 36. This is a plug for the new business that we have. So uh, one of the things that I get questions on constantly is what do I do when I check into a hotel? So we will have a list here. This is actually our, our new website. Well, there's a, going to be a list on here that will give you an actual checklist to go out into a hotel when you check in. Uh, and it'll give you just a couple of tips that you can, you can see so that you know if you're checking into a, a hotel that actually has bed bugs or not. This actually is a website that we've come up with where if you want to travel, just like if you're going to Travelocity, you can put in the place that you want to travel to and it will pull up and it'll show you if we have certified one of those hotels. So. That's the National Organization of Bed Bug Education for Lodging, which is uh, the acronym of NOBLE. We do business under uh, nobedbugs.com.